Welcome back to Micro Jurassic World, and as you can see by the map, there is only one spot left, and that is this little area down here. There is technically this as well, uh, which I don't know what to do with, because uh, this on the map is technically just mountains, if you look. Uh, and also over here, technically there's nothing down here, uh, depending on which is the Nubla map you want to look at. However, looking at this big lagoon type uh, thing, it gave me an idea for an attraction, and that is the... Okay, Rexy, bit loud. And that is the Pleosaur Pond. Now, what that was, was a concept art of basically an attraction where, uh, the best I can describe it, is a monorail type system where guests would go around, pretend this is in the water, um, and then basically just like a submarine, go around and look at, um, well, pleosaurs, maybe ichthyosaurs as well. Not sure if they're in the same enclosure, but we'll pretend they are because I'm not going to have two of these, one for pleosaurs and one for ichthyosaurs because they're, they're, they're very small, they could fit in the same one. So yes, this was the general idea. Now, I was like hoping to use the monorail in some way, but it's way too tall and is going to look stupid. So instead, I think what I'm going to do is, if I delete all this now, is use actual lagoons and just put the pleosaurs in it, you know, and then make like a, a water attraction. Because what what got me I what got me the idea was literally just putting fencing in the water and pretending it was like a natural uh, lagoon, kind of like that, which would be perfect. However, the game doesn't work like that because this water is very shallow. So instead, I'm just going to experiment with putting down lagoons somewhere like this and going boom, 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 and trying to get as much of it around here as possible. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what I'm doing right now, so I'm going to time-lapse everything I do, because it could take a while, um, because, yeah, I, I really just don't know. So, BRB while I experiment. So, how about this for a rough shape? Uh, and it, it kind of, it's meant to just like blend in to be like a, you know, fencing like I did before around the, uh, the natural water. So, obviously this can be some kind of, um, like maybe hotel complex. Like the, oh actually there's hotels there. So maybe we put some more. Or just do like, yeah, this and go boom. Okay, do multi-place actually, three, four, there you go, and then have uh, amenities, I suppose, maybe going down here, um, like that, okay, sure, uh, now, how are you going to get over there, should we do a monorail system? Kind of like this. That might be too big. Yeah, that's going to take up half the fucking thing. And I was hoping to have some kind of like viewing point at every corner. So one... Oh, actually, it goes a bit far, doesn't it? What if I have like all in the middle like this? Like boom, boom, boom. Actually, uh, I could just have these on the edges. Ta-da! So... Okay, well now there's definitely not room for a monorail. No. And I don't want to remove too much water. I just want like a small little island in the middle. Maybe. Maybe we don't need... Um... This here. Let's get rid of... Is that... That's not even, is it? No. We need one more... Well, actually, no. It would be good if there's one here. Uh, here. And here. Delete. Oh, shit. Actually? No, that's not even. Um, yeah. Like that. 
Oh god, now I just want to do this again. Okay, something like that. And then, how are you going to get over there? I could, oh, whoops, just add an arrival point, like somewhere like here, and pretend it's like an underground tunnel type thing. Or it would be good like there, wouldn't it? In fact, yeah, why don't I... Like that. You know, and then put that up here. Ooh, yes. It almost, like, curves a little too well up there. So, you go there. Uh, it looks a bit odd, so maybe have another one there. Now, could I have shops as well? Because that would be perfect. If yes. Now... Like that. Uh, oh, actually, wait. Okay, pretend that's one path. Ooh, you're not centre at all. Okay, need to edit you a bit, but pretend it's like that. How much would a um, small amenity be? Ooh, it would take up quite a bit of space. Uh, okay, give me give me some more time uh, to figure this out. Maybe I just spread it along, you know, like this, and then get a monorail system like that. Oh, yeah, the monorail system can go over, like, here, and this can simply be just like an island, you know? Pleasaur pontoon? I think pontoon sounds like the right word. I'm pretty sure I know what a pontoon is. <laughs> pretty sure a pontoon is like a floating thing, but we will see. Right, give me, give me a minute, I've got a couple, and then I'm going to show you what I've got so far, because this could take a bit of a time. Ta-da! So, I have done insane work. Uh, I can't even remember where I left off. Uh, I've just been working on it non-goddamn stop. So yes, uh, this is like a central bit. Just excuse Rexy there. Uh, where you've got like shops and you've got pleosaur pins. Probably a hint as to what animal is going to be in here. Uh, and then you've got like a zip line as well. Just as a quick way to exit the um, the little island. Maybe like an emergency exit almost. Is this? I thought it was two bathrooms. No. This is all right, a remote viewing area. Because there's one down here. Blah, 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 blah. I've added some coral at the bottom. But you can't really tell. So I, I did like half of it. And then. Well, if you look at the size of this goddamn lagoon, you'll see why I stopped. Uh, and yeah, so this is where the proper pleosaur pond is going to be, where you go, pretend this is in the water like a submarine, and you go all the way around. Well, actually, you start here, you get off here, and then you immediately come in on the monorail, you go to pleosaur pond, la la la, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, right? go all the way around and like fish comes out of your submarine so you can feed them it stops off on the little island and then you can obviously go to the viewing station and the um underwater dome with obviously shops restaurants entertainment and then zip line on back now i've also done a like hotel uh plaza because Although this was the the only hotel complex um, properly seen, we do know that there were more choices. So I think this is the perfect by the beach, uh, by attractions, and I've even done a, a perfect path leading to the rest of it. So I think when Park, you know, Jurassic World, if you will, closes at whatever time 9 p.m and all guests must vacate then these two doors would shut this one and there's not a door but pretend here i guess right and then guests can only explore obviously this hotel plaza right leading to here and these areas but obviously these would be closed and then um have like a staff place so this is going to be like the staff room for the um massive hotel plaza but i've counted it and in total including the pleasaur bay the uh, hilton complex the golf club area it's like a private resort and 
last but not least, Camp Cretaceous up here, right, this one, we have a total of 16,000 guests capacity, which is pretty darn good compared to the 5,000 Hilton Hotel one that um, I was going to have. Now, you're meant to have about, you know, 20 to 30,000 people. In the film, they had like 22,000 and they were like, oh, we're losing visitor numbers. So clearly, yes, even Rex is annoyed. Clearly, uh, their capacity is a lot more. In fact, if maybe I can see my capacity. Guests, uh, potential 1,000. Is that it? 1,300? It's fucking garbage. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure when I actually invite guests, it knows the actual capacity because right now it says zero. But yeah, that is the player saw pond, and that really is the last thing that I needed to do because my Isla Nubla is now completely full, apart from this little thing. Now, I wish I knew what to put here. I have kind of added some ranger stations and, you know, medical centers because, well, I don't really have any of them on the park. I've got some up here with the raptors. Where is it? Uh, I did only have these two, but I did start adding the whole, um, um, what is it, ranger stations, these. I've added these all over the place, and, well, I've needed quite a few to operate uh, Jurassic World. So I've kind of got this massive um, ranger station up here, and then on the other side... I have a massive ranger station with like science centers and you know medical centers and whatnot hatcheries of course because we've got to make those dinosaurs so yes other than that i think i'm done uh i think there are a few final touches here and there like i'm still editing the hotel area i literally just did it while i was well then again i did add a massive hotel complex here so of course i'm going to edit it a little bit uh but i'm sure there are minor things i want to change like maybe main street a little bit more i don't know i've already edited it a little bit but i i can work with it i did come across a major major flaw and that is that the Triceratops territory, which is here, which is lovely and presentable, is actually on the map based up here. It's basically, it's above Control Center um, and above Gyrosphere, but below the Restricted section, which is here. So technically, Triceratops territory is in this tiny little box. So, I, yeah, so I, I definitely have zero space for it whatsoever. Uh, even, I was thinking maybe moving the gyrosphere down to, like, here, so it goes like this and comes up. But I've already got this weird skinny, like, neck of it going down, uh, because it was originally, like, up here, but then I thought, oh, I might as well extend it a bit, um, because, you know, it's a bit of a waste of space. But if I do that more, then, like, it, I don't like it. I like that it's a valley, like, they go separate ways, and one goes up here and comes down. But if it's just a straight line, which is basically what this is, uh, I'm not a fan. But I, I can live with it if this is the entrance, you know? So they first come out, you know, and it's like, yeah, it's not much weaving around. But then you get to a big open valley, and then you just explore it, you know? even like change the terrain and stuff so yeah the one absolute one problem with this that i have is this triceratops territory because this big bit of square in the actual like movie map is nothing that this is just empty space with the cretaceous crews maybe a little bit to the left with oh my game's frozen oh shit i think a lot is going on in this game um with uh, the raptors, I'm pretty sure, are actually over here, rather than up here. And the restricted section is just, like, spread. So it kind of, instead of just going all the way up, it actually goes all the way right and then down, like that. And then this is also raptors. Uh, and then Avery is pushed a bit to the left, blah, blah, blah. However, I really do not have space for all that. 
as as much as I wish I could make it a one to one identical map, I'm really pushing my luck with what I have right now, let alone, you know, moving everything a bit to the left. Uh, so yeah, Raptors is up here and this is just it, like it, it just it just works, you know. So I'm not going to change everything just because the Raptors technically meant to be here because then the Avery would have nowhere to go, you know, and also this wouldn't be a restricted section. So I'm going to leave it because technically, yes, it's meant to be over there. However, I'm pretty sure it's fine here. You know, it, it's near the Indominus. It's near the research. There's there's nothing wrong. This is Owen's little house here. Look, he lives in a tent. This is his motorbike. It's gorgeous. But yeah, the only problem that I have is Triceratops territory is meant to be over here. Why I thought it was down here, I don't know. I kind of thought it was with uh, the Paki Arena, Gentle Giants, and the zip line. Oh, and the rock climbing. All of... Oh, no, wait. Jim. That's not meant to be Jim. That's meant to be rock climbing. Um, there is a rock climbing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. Boom. So yeah, this was all meant to be over here. And for some reason, I just thought, oh, it's okay, Triceratops territory is maybe here. And honestly, it fits perfectly. Like, this was just a big blank space, and I was like, oh my god, it's perfect. I can just perfectly fill that with Triceratops. Um, and I've even, because I've got it so much room, because I don't want to just have Triceratops up there, because I'm pretty sure there's Triceratops in the Gyrosto Valley anyway. So why does a Triceratops territory on its own? I don't know. <sighs> However, other than that, I am actually complete. Now, like I say, I am going to do some tweaks and edits. Uh, like this especially has changed a lot of stuff, including the beach. So I might get rid of that now. I might literally just put a concrete wall and call it forest here. Uh, because maybe you don't need a beach. Maybe there's too many beaches. We will see. So, in the next episode, I think this is the last building episode. And in the next episode, I'm just going to do a big, big tour. So, yeah. I can't bother to film an episode of um, editing it, you know, and showing you all the little tweaks I do. Like, oh, look, I changed this tree to this tree because I can't see the point in that. What is that? Oh, it's all these goddamn ranger stations I did. I might have to just get rid of that because they're going to be really annoying. Also, look over here. Ta-da! The little uh, garage. Anyway, that is in the next video. Thank you for watching my Pleasaur Pond. Goodbye.